Amen? Amen. Because, like I said earlier, the, 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 the principle, the, the, the beginning of Christianity is based on love. There's no other way to put it. There's no way to get around it. If we cannot forget people that offended us, kingdom of heaven is not for us. We'll never make it to the kingdom of heaven. That's the reason why Paul is clear. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Love, therefore, is the fulfillment of the law. And then he says, besides this, knowing the time, it is already the hour for you to wake up from sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than it was when we first believed. In other words, Christ is right about to blow that trumpet. Amen? Amen. 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 So do you really know what time it is? <laughs> do you know what time it is in your soul? Does your soul know what time it is? Do you know that the Bible says that the Holy Spirit gives testimony to our spirit that we are the children of God? The Holy Spirit gives testimony to our soul. And the Holy Spirit testifies to our soul and then tells us when it moves in us that we are his children. And that testifies to the time. It's telling us that we are in the proper time. We are in timing with God. Amen? We are in tune with God. The Holy Spirit moves, amen, in our soul like rivers of living waters. That's what the Bible says. The purpose of it is so that we can serve Him and love Him in spirit and in truth. That's the time that we're supposed to be in today, 2015. Knowing the time. And then he goes into verse 12 and he says, the night is near over. The night is nearly over. And the daylight is near. What is he saying? The night is nearly over. And the daylight is near. We're living in a world of darkness. Who is the prince of the air? The devil. Who is the ruler of darkness? The devil. Amen? Amen. And we're living in a world that is possessed with nothing but powers of darkness. Demons galore all over the place. Amen? You just got to be careful when you start walking. You don't bump into demons because they're everywhere. Amen? But as long as you're under the anointing, there's no demon that can touch you. So when you're under the anointing and you start walking, demons got to move out of your way. Amen? Demons got to step aside. Why? Because you're walking under the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost that's protecting you going in and protecting you going out. Amen. So even if we're surrounded by darkness, Light is inside of us. And the Bible says that when Christ comes, when that trumpet sounds and he comes with his angels, he's going to lift up his church and being that God is light, we are supposed to walk as children of light. Amen? If we are walking as children of light, oh, we only have light surrounding our soul, body, and spirit. And as soon as Christ comes, it's going to be like a light lit up because Christ is made of nothing but glory and light. That's why when people see the Lord, they can't see His face. A lot of people can't even look up to Him because of His glory. When John the Apostle saw the Lord, when he was in the island of Patmos, and Christ came to him to show him the book of Revelation, the Bible says that the glory and the light was so powerful that his body fell to the ground, and he lost all of his strength in the presence of the living God. And Jesus started talking to him. And he started saying, Oh Lord, how can your servant speak to, to you when, when I have lost all my strength in your presence? The Bible says that the Lord touched him and gave him strength. And he was able to sit up and, and listen to what the Lord had to say to him. That is the glory and the power of the Almighty God. When the glory and the power comes upon you, your body cannot resist the power of God 
and you might even lose your physical strength. Amen. Even like your dreams that like a friend will have. Even the dreams of God. When God visits you at night and he comes to give you dreams, you lose a lot of your strength. The anointing of God is so powerful that it takes over this body. But do you know what time is it? Do you have that anointing today? Do you have the anointing to pray at least more than an hour a day? Do you have the anointing when you are at home at night to seek the Lord and five minutes go by and then 20 minutes go by, an hour goes by, feels like five minutes in prayer, and when you look at your clock, two hours went by, you're in the spirit and you are in prayer. Do you know what time it is? is you, are you in that kind of time? Or are you in the time where you can't even pray five minutes a week? What time is it? Besides this, knowing the time, it is already the hour for you to wake up from sleep. For now is our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Amen? Did you know the time? Who has a Rolex watch here? Who <laughs> has a Rolex? A Timex? Timex. A Concord. <laughs> I was hoping someone said they had a Rolex. I was going to say, give me that watch. You, you have no business with that watch. Bring it on. 